right, I will call this third regular common council meeting to order. Will the clerk please say the quote of the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Change is the end result. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. There we go. Change is the end result of all true learning. All right, call the roll. Alderperson Ackley. Here. Alderperson Bourne. Here. Alderperson Decker. Here. Alderperson Feldy. Here. Alderperson Palicki Paneski. Here. Alderperson Mitchell. Here. Alderperson Ferella. Here. Alderperson Salazar. Here. Alderperson Savaglio. Present. There are nine present. All right. For folks in attendance, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our April 26th meeting. Pre President Feldy. I make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. Minutes are approved. Anyone for public forum today? No one this evening. All right. Next, 1.5, resignations of Kyle Welton from the Mead Public Library Board. President Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file. Second. There's been a motion. In a second, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. All right, that's approved. 6.1, mayor's appointments, those will lay over. All right, announcement. All right, good evening, everybody. Um, so first, we have an announcement for an election to be held at the Common Council meeting for May 17th, 2021, to fill the an unexpired term for former older person, Ryan Sorensen, for District 8. So if anybody knows anybody that lives in District 8, please have them contact uh, the city clerk's office to send a letter of intent and your resume. Otherwise, feel free to call my office as well uh, for any questions. All right, six, uh, uh, excuse me, 1.8, mayor's announcements. All right, so starting off, just a quick brief COVID update. Um, currently in Sheboygan County, there are 123 active cases. This past week, sadly, there were two additional deaths for individuals over the age of 80. Currently, there are only three people in the hospital and our activity level in the county has seen a 55% decrease in our, for, from our burden rate. However, this is still a high number and we keep encouraging folks, folks to wear masks and socially distance. Um, the city has been doing a wonderful job with their Monday morning meetings with other uh, stakeholders in the health healthcare field and experts, and we're working with a lot of different entities to ensure that vaccines are getting rolled out. And my encouragement to all citizens that are eligible, please look on the public health website to schedule an appointment. I have my second COVID shot tomorrow, um, so I'm looking forward to getting that over with. Um, I'm really looking forward to this discussion and conversation after the city council meeting tonight for the committee of the whole meeting to review um, and dive in head first with the affordable housing study. So I'm looking for a fruitful conversation on that as well. So now we're gonna dive right into some proclamations here. I got a big stack of them. So we're gonna go through these. So first one is nursing's month. Um, so today we have Lori and Lauren from both St. Nick's and Advocate Aurora today here to accept the proclamation. Um, so whereas registered nurses in the United States constitute our largest, our nation's largest healthcare profession and the American Nurses Association has a voice for registered nurses in this country and working to chart new courses for a healthy nation and relies on increasing access to prim primary and preventative healthcare a renewed emphasis on primary and preventative health care will require better utilization of all our nation's registered nurses and resources, whereas professional nursing is an indispensable and incredible component of safety and quality of care 
for hospitalized patients and many more community members. Whereas more qualified registered nurses are needed in the future to meet an increasingly complex needs of healthcare, healthcare consumption in this community, and whereas the cost effective, safe, and healthy quality healthcare services provided by registered nurses will be an incredibly increasingly important community and component, excuse me, component to the United States healthcare delivery system for the future. Now, therefore, I, Ryan Sorensen, Mayor of Sheboygan, do hereby declare May 2021 as Nurses Month. So, Lauren and Lori, would you please come up? And on behalf of all the citizens of Sheboygan, I'll give you this proclamation. And we'll look at Todd. We'll take a quick picture here. All right. Thank you so much. Mayor Thank Council, you. we appreciate this. You guys want to say a few words? Thank you, Mayor Sorensen and Council members. We, uh, as nurses, really appreciate this day and your support for the future. Thank you. We've got two other ones. I'm not going to read the full ones today because I'm going to be presenting them out throughout the week at different events. Um, next one, I'm going to be proclaiming May 3rd through the 9th as Rockets for Schools Week. May 6th is National Day of Prayer. This one I'm gonna read out loud. Whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk is a time-honored and vital part of local government that exists throughout the world, and whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk is the oldest among pub public servants, and whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk provides a professional link between residents and local government bodies, agencies of government at all levels, Whereas municipal clerks have pledged to do even mindful job of their neutrality and impartial rendering of, uh, rendering of equality services to all. Whereas municipal clerks serve as the information center on functions of local government and the community. And whereas municipal clerks continually strive to improve the administration of many affairs of the office of municipal clerk through participation in education programs, seminars, workshops, and annual meetings of their state and county and international professional organizations. Whereas it is most important and appropriate that we recognize the accomplishments of the Office of Municipal Clerk, and whereas Municipal Clerks Week is celebrating its 52nd annual anniversary in 2021, and now therefore I, Ryan Sorensen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim the week of May 2nd through 8th as Municipal Clerks Week. So will our Municipal Clerk, Meredith the Bruin, please come on down and accept this proclamation. She didn't know I was doing this one, so. Um, Alderperson Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. There's been a motion and second on the consent agenda. Any discussion regarding the consent agenda? All right, this is a roll call vote. Please uh, check your board docs. Nine eyes. All right. Three point one and three point two will be referred to committees. Resolutions four point one resolution number three dash twenty one dash twenty two by older persons Feldy and Flicky Paneski authorizing the IT director to enter into a contract with AT and T regarding the Sheboygan Police Department's phone services. Older person Feldy. I move to adopt. Second. First, we need a, a mo uh, we need a request to suspend the rules. Okay, I move to suspend the rules, please. Any objection to suspending the rules? 
All right, seeing none, there's been a motion and second. Any discussion on this item? I would like to make a comment. Alder Flicky-Bineski? The ordinance itself clearly outlines the rationale for the need to suspend rules, and I truly appreciate that when that's provided. Thank you. All right, thank you for that. Any other feedback or discussion on this item? Uh, Mayor, Alderman Alder Boren. Alder Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I had an opportunity uh, earlier today to talk to our I, uh, IT director, Eric Bushman, uh, regarding this, and I'm wondering if he could just go over some of the important parts of this as how it's going to improve the service to the police department, and uh, are we going to be saving any money on this, or is it going to be a little more expensive? Thank you, Jim. So basically today, the police uh, phone service comes in on a copper line. AT&T is end of lighting that copper line uh, the end of July this year. So we will be replacing that with a fiber optics line coming in to a building. The long-term goal is to move all of our phone services over to AT&T, which will then uh, back up. Today we have three phone services or uh, PRIs running into the buildings. If one drops, there's no failover. This paves the path for us to uh, establish failovers. So if a PRI circuit does fail, it'll fail over to another circuit. So that will be an advantage to the police department in that um, they'll have that uh, recovery. Um, in the long run, it will save us some money. Um, probably around $1,000 a month in phone expenses. So, any other questions? Thank you, Eric. Any other questions? Seeing none, all those in favor, oh. This is a roll call vote. So please refer to your board doctor's vote, thank you. Nine eyes. All right. 4.2 will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. Um, items 6.1 and 6.2 will both be referred to the Public Works Committee. Other matters authorized by law. City Attorney. Thank you. 7.1 is uh, an appointment appointing Caitlin Krieger to the position of Finance Director slash Treasurer. And that lays over. 7.2 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications. And that will be referred to the licensing hearings and public safety committee. 7.3 is a resolution by Alderpersons Decker and Perella authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Parms Tree Service Inc. for the removal of 676 tree stumps. And that will be referred to the public works committee. 7.4 is a resolution by all the persons Mitchell and Decker authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into contracts with Enterprise FM Trust and Enterprise Fleet Management Inc. for the lease of vehicles, the disposal of vehicles, and the maintenance of vehicles, and authorizing the city administrator to administer the lease program to the extent funds are appropriated. And that will be referred to the Finance Personnel Committee and the Public Works Commission. All right, we've exhausted the agenda. Is there a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Second. There's been a motion second. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? We're adjourned at 614. <laughs>